What's going on? You're watching Bass TV, and I got another Fortnite video for you. So today we're gonna talk about the new Save the World development roadmap. If you already don't know about these, they release these little updates on Reddit every two weeks or so to let you know what's going on with the development of Save the World. So yeah, let's get right into it. We're back with another roadmap update. We've since dropped a slew of quality of life changes and the Three Husketeers questline in the version 3.4 update. Of course, those changes include combat pro support, stamina rework, you don't lose durability on your weapons when you die, and how could I forget? You can stack the 200. I mean, there was more stuff, but come on now. That was a pretty big update. I was loving that. All right, back to the roadmap. It says, note, the Spring It On quest line will be ending on Wednesday, April 11th, at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you didn't finish your nine pages of your Spring It On quest line, make sure you have that done before Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're not in the Eastern time zone, make sure you do that bloop, 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 on your phone. Make sure you know when 8 p.m. Eastern is your time. Make sure you get the Miss Bunny Penny at least, man. Make sure you do that. All right, here we go, pass 3.5. Coming this week, Into the Storm event begins. That also comes with part one of the quest line. We get a new arid biome, which is only gonna be a Survive the Storm map, which by the way, looks like Kenny. Really reminds me of Kenny. I wonder if that's what Kenny is going to end up looking like. Ooh, maybe. But new heroes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they say, listen, they say for all of you, I want new heroes with new stuff, not reskins. Look at that, new abilities, not just reskins. And it says constructors may have a reason to let the husks in. Hmm, what does that mean? Hmm? I wonder. We've also got some new weapons coming. They say shiny ones. Ooh, ooh. I wonder. If it's those flintlock weapons. I don't know, they don't look too shiny to me. But we'll see. Ooh, ooh, bars. Say more quality of life improvements. They said an Outlander re rework, which ooh, ooh, sounds pretty dope. Because I don't use Outlanders because of this specific reason. We heard you on fragments and have given the Outlander an overhaul. Ooh, that is so nice. I uh, absolutely cannot stand as an outlander running around and searching for fragments and cannot find any but then when i play any other class ninja constructor soldier as soon as i spawn i see like 50 of them as soon as i drop into the mission it's very annoying then we work in the outlanders can mean a whole bunch of things but Hopefully, one, they make fragments easier to find. Two, if you have a llama and a bear, you could choose whether to put one of those down. You don't have to, oh, well, I have a bear and I have to fight right now. I gotta throw the llama down and waste the llama. That makes no sense. Makes no sense. Next patch, 3.5 content update. That's gonna be sometime next week. It says the week of the 16th. A new weapon is gonna be available in the event store and the Into the Storm Part 2 is going to be available. Now, very important part here. Unlike the Spring It On quest line, where if you came late and there were multiple pages, like if you started playing Spring It On right now, today, you could complete multiple things at once. You can complete multiple missions at once, but there were different parts. With the Into the Storm event, you are not going to be able to do that. You must complete part one before completing part two. I think that's kind of cool. I mean, you want people to see the story of the quest line, so why not? And then towards the end of the month, the week of the 23rd, is when we're going to get patched. 3.6, not much information about that right now. It just says new utility item, but around then we should be getting another roadmap. So, what are you most excited for? The new heroes, the new weapons, the, the Outlander rework, the whole constructor thing. You may have a reason to let husks in, like what's going on? The new biome, which is gonna be dope. Honestly, me personally, I'm excited about that whole constructor thing. I mean, we're still gonna have to deal with the fact that most of the time, you're gonna have the randoms just fighting husks in the storm, even though we all put a whole bunch of traps down and they're just like, yeah, you know what? We're not gonna let not one husk touch those traps. We'll see though. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. Bu -bu -bu. This has been Batata TV. I am out. Duh, duh.